Change is good. Twilio's change logs are even better. Twilio now supports regionalized hosting for functions and assets in Europe. All you builders in Europe should see improved performance through decreased latency by routing traffic through Twilio's local data centers. This now enables regional isolation, meaning data will be stored and processed in your selected region and will not be accessible outside the chosen region, helping you meet those sweet, sweet regulatory requirements. I'm thrilled that more people will be able to use Twilio functions and assets. It's a tool that I find incredibly useful and that I actually use to create my very own SMS and WhatsApp-based trivia game. Let's see. Mm, A. Nice. Warning. I'm about to say something scary. A deadline. To those of you still using WhatsApp templates, you need to switch over to content templates by April 1st, 2025. I promise it's not an April Fool's joke. I've been burned before. Don't worry though, you have time. You should have received an email about this and we're starting to publish warnings in the council. This is a great way to future-proof your rich messaging capabilities as the content templates are the same for MMS, WhatsApp, and RCS. Twilio is ensuring that business messaging keeps up with the latest technologies, making messaging more interactive and standardized. Hey, the future may be uncertain, but your messaging capabilities sure don't have to be. Stay tuned for a deeper dive into RCS and a bit more about these content templates. And there is a helpful support article to guide you through the process. Isn't that nice? For our next update, let's talk about Twilio segment. The data graph now supports previews of data. After selecting an entity in the data graph, you can view sample rows from the reference tables in order to verify that everything is referencing correct data. For you data engineers out there, linked events sync scheduling has been enhanced to increase flexibility and efficiency. Please hold the applause. You can configure linked events sync directly in the entity's detail or data graph screens. You can also manually trigger syncs or set them on interval-based schedules, which ensure alignment with reverse ETL workflows. This will help you streamline your sync management and ensure your data remains consistent and up-to-date wherever it's stored. We will be doing an intro to the segment CDP in an upcoming episode. So if these last couple of updates either excited you or confused you, stay tuned. Whew. That was a lot of technical talk. So here's a video of a robotic boat I built.